is Classic FM. Well, I'm very happy to have with me today Fabio D'Andrea, who's come in to have a chat with me at Classic FM. And as you can see, we've chosen a very nice day for it as well. So, Fabio, welcome Thank to you. Classic FM. A lovely view we've got here. It too. is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Now, your album Reflection was my featured CD just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, tell us about the background to that. Okay, well, I wanted to make a CD which um, had a lot of my favourite piano pieces on there. So um, there's Genopédie and Claire de Lune. And then I wanted to showcase some of my own compositions. And I've called it Reflection, really, because the six pieces that are very well known seem to sort of reflect onto the, my own compositions. And they all have a very relaxing feel to them. Um, there's almost a bit of a nighttime feel as well, I yeah. think, just within the names. I mean, there's obviously Moonlight Sonata, very blatant, um, Claire de Lune. But uh, one or two of my pieces kind of make me feel or remind me of outer space or that sort of kind of atmosphere, that imagery. So It definitely does have it. a soporific quality, I'd say. Yeah, that. that's certainly true. <laughs> and is that something that as a pianist, as a keyboard player, you feel particularly comfortable with? Yeah, I, I think um, with the piano, I, I enjoy playing all sorts of things. Um, I'm quite versatile with my playing. I love improvising. That's probably my um, best trait. And it can also be a big hindrance. I remember at university I had to give a performance of Messian to my um, compositional tutor is George Benjamin, who obviously is one of the um, foremost, well, biggest composers in the UK, worldwide, and um, I ended up improvising halfway through because I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't resist not doing so, um, which obviously probably displeased them, but I still did quite well at the end. Um, but um, in terms of my playing, I, I, I am Really, I'm, I'm a true composer. I think that's it, it, for, for me the hardest thing is to actually sit at a piano and be disciplined enough to stick to the notes that yeah. were written. Now, while we were chatting before we came yeah. out here to do this interview, you were telling me about um, your involvement with dance. Yeah, and uh, that's very interesting because you, you've already shown me some of the video sure. stuff, which is very exciting, and we're going to get some of that on the website. Yeah. Um, how did that come about? You're involved with classical dance companies, but again, you're also involved with contemporary dance. Yeah. Well, um, basically, uh, it, was, it was quite a few years ago now. I just wanted to take up dancing just for fun, really. Um, obviously, being a musician, I, uh, and I thought I could dance, and I thought I understood rhythm, but um, I took my first dance class at Pineapple Studios, and um, I realized that actually uh, your brain works in a very different way when you're a dancer. How about the aches and pains? Um, the after after? Yeah, it's quite addictive actually. <laughs> that was quite quite fun. I quite enjoyed that. Um, become very flexible and really feel very very healthy afterwards. And it does become addictive. I found myself wanting to do sort of nine ten classes a week. You know, at one stage when I had the time. Um, <laughs> it was a long time ago, but but it, but it was great fun. And um, out of that world, I met a lot of uh, dancers, amazing amazing dancers who who predominantly work in the pop industry. Um, but then obviously through my classical work as well, I met a lot of other dancers uh, who, who are great in the actual classical and ballet world. So I've got some, some of my best friends are uh, dancers at the Rambo Dance Company, um, a very close friend who's currently in the Royal Ballet. And, and then I have some friends who were choreographing and doing all the pop dancing for the Olympics recently right. and dancing all the major pop music videos. So I thought it would be really great to make a set of 12 videos um, for, for this album, Reflection, and basically I just wanted a plain white background and just dancers, and most of them are just one dancer on their own. And again, you've taken this theme of, I hate the word crossover, but yeah. you've taken some, some people who would be, shall we say, more at home in contemporary dance, totally. and just sort of parachuted them into like the sati piece, yeah. the Jeune Yeah, and, um, and the Chopin as well. I, I thought it was great just to mix up a dancer who you would not see dancing, and especially stylistically, yeah. you wouldn't see them dancing the way that they do to, to these pieces. And um, I love that juxtaposition of, uh, of doing something which is really contemporary, even from the outfits, I, I had one of my friends who's a fantastic costume designer, Rita Coulson, who um, she designed a Kylie Minogue's outfit for, mm -hmm. for a lot of her famous videos, including Can't Get You Out of My Head. So, um, and she did all the, um, the costume design for this. So there's a real mixture of, um, you know, sort of different types of dancers. I mean, again, I didn't go for the stereotypical look. There's, there's a whole mixture. There's some Russian dancers, 
some, some black dancers, some oriental. There's a real just mishmash of everything in one. But I've hopefully given it some cohesion. So. Yeah. I must ask you about your following on Twitter because sure. you've got an absolutely huge following. Yeah. There's something like in excess of 50,000 so followers. Something, yeah, it's about 40 something, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, I think, again, a lot of that's it's come out of um, my background of doing classical, but bringing classical to an audience which normally wouldn't listen to classical music. And I, I, I decided a long time ago that I, I love all forms of classical music, but personally for myself, even as a composer, I like to um, I like to do stuff which I find is quite accessible to people. Well, I've very much enjoyed uh, Reflection. Yeah. I'm oh, looking forward to playing more of it on my programme as well. And in light of what you've been telling me, I look forward to 24 in due course. Sure. Great well, to see I've you. got to finish writing it first. <laughs> Small matter of that. Yeah. Thanks for coming yeah, and having a chat. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks.